Good morning, everyone. Fy Farley here. It's June 3rd, Sunday, and uh, we are on another winning streak, which is great. I love it. Um, four in a row yesterday, taking the Mariners, Tampa Bay Devil Rays under the seven and a half um, or eight, whichever one you got. Either way, it was a winner as they came in at four. Um, three to one Mariners victory. Uh, the only thing I thought was going to be the other way around, which speaking of, I'm going to get to that in a second here with my play. First, I want to say thank you to all the subscribers, uh, all the new subscribers. Welcome. Hope you get some value out of these videos. And uh, next, I uh, just want to throw out what has been going on lately. Let's see, one four straight, nine of the last ten, um, of which half of those are underdogs. And then, I don't know what it is, ten of the last twelve or eleven of thirteen, something like that. Um, hold on. One, two, three. 11. 11 of the last 13. Um, so uh, hopefully you've been on that. I know a couple of you have. I appreciate the comments down below. Um, always good to check that in and uh, and see it. Um, all right, so let me get to today. All right, so I'm actually going to go back to Seattle at, or uh, Tampa Bay at Seattle, uh, and I'm going to tell you why. So currently it's at an even uh, minus 110 uh, for each team. It opened up as a favorite for Seattle. It's been bet the other way uh, to Tampa Bay, um, making it just about even 64% of the money, 56% of the tickets on Tampa Bay. And here's why sharp money's coming in on Tampa Bay, all right? So uh, first, Felix Hernandez has not been the same Felix Hernandez that uh, he has been in years past. Um, he has given up at minimum two runs uh, per game. Uh, this season. In every start, he's given up at least two runs. He's been hit quite well. Right now, opponents hitting 256 against him. A 5.83 ERA. A 5.83 for Felix Hernandez, former Cy Young Award winner. Um, last three outings, five, four, and three runs given up. Six, five, and six hits. Um, and we're talking Texas, Oakland, Detroit. Not exactly. I mean, they're Detroit's picking it up. Um, they're actually looking pretty good right now. If I look at the uh, opponent's batting average, the uh, Tampa Bay Devil Rays are hitting 255 against him at 47 at bat, so a little bit of data there. Um, Carlos Gomez, you know, in particular, is 6 of 17, hitting 353 against him. He has two home runs against him. Um, he's slumping this year, but he may have a breakout game here today against Felix as he hits him well. Um, the last 30 days for Felix Hernandez, a 7-1-6 ERA. He's 1-2. and two. In five starts, opponents hitting 283 against him. Now, I've watched Felix pitch for a long time, and if you know how Felix pitches, he's got a lot of tail on his pitches. It breaks about three, three to four inches, his fastball does. So when you lighten up the speed, if you don't get that whip, which he's been fantastic at, that the, the whip on his pitch, it won't break as much. And when it only breaks one to two inches, he becomes very average. That's what average pitchers do. They get that one to two inch break, um, which is not going to saw off um, a, a hitter if it's only breaking one to two inches. The same thing with a circle change. A circle change dives away, and it can break four inches away um, as opposed to his tailing fastball breaking in. Um, so it, it, this year he's straightened it out. Uh, he's not got the whip that he used to have. Um, so now he's getting hit. He's become a very mediocre starter. Um, so unless he gets that figured out, it's going to be a long season for Felix Hernandez. The one thing I will say in favor of uh, Felix today, the one thing to be aware of, and if you were to say, okay, that's actually a decent statistic, I'm going to go um, uh, on the under instead, is that uh, in the last three seasons, not this season because he hasn't faced Tampa Bay, the last three seasons he is 3-0 and um, with a 127 ERA against the Devil Rays. So he has done very, very well against Tampa Bay. Um, but he's done very, very well against all the other teams he's faced this year. And uh, um, he's not doing the same production that he has the last three seasons. So um, I'm not backing it. All right, now let's flip over to Blake Snell. I love this. All right, so Blake Snell has done fantastic. He's got a 2.56 ERA. He's 7-3. and three. Almost a decision in every single start he's had, by the way. Uh, opponents hitting 187 against him. Last 30 days, a 2.57 ERA. Um, three and two, 28 innings. Uh, opponents hitting just 181 against him. 
Um, Mariners, specifically their roster, uh, 3 of 20, hitting just 150. Only one with any success is Nelson Cruz, uh, who is uh, has two, 2 of 5. Uh, two of those three hits are from him. Um, and then against Seattle, he has a .87 ERA uh, in two starts, 10 innings, um, only giving up one run. All right. The other thing I really like about Blake Snell is he's from Seattle. He's a Seattle local. This is his first game that he's pitched back in Seattle. One of the stats I like about Blake is that in, well, let me get to his year stats. He has pitched, it's his strikeout ratio. He's pitched 70 innings, and he's given up, and he's struck out 76. So more than one per inning. And here he is coming into Seattle, his hometown, for the first time um, since he's been in the big leagues. He's going to have his family there, his friends there, and he's going against his uh, uh, the team he grew up watching. So... Um, you know, I'm looking for Blake Snell to have his great, is the best outing of his season. He's coming off back-to-back -back shutouts, um, and the game before that, four hits, two runs against the Angels, of which he won all three of those games. Um, we're going to get the best of Snell today, and uh, again, I wouldn't blame you if you took the under, but I'm going with the Tampa Bay side at a minus 110. Um, that's my pick for today, and... Uh, We'll look for the streak of the Mariners. Let's see, what have they won? Three straight versus uh, Tampa Bay, who's lost three straight to end today uh, in Seattle. All right, good luck, everyone. I'll see you again soon.